and we're now recording. All right. Okay, we're ready to start then. You start now. Right. Welcome to this Development Management Review Committee, uh, hosted remotely, as you're well aware of. Um, any apologies? No apologies, convener. All members are present. Any declarations of interest? There's no member um, raising their hand, convener. No. Um, minutes of the previous meeting, is that agreed? Agreed. agreed. Right. Next item, 43 Mall Street, Carnoustie. This is an application for the review, the decision to be taken by the Planning Authority in respect of the refusal of the planning permission for the alteration and extension to the dwelling house at 43 Mall Street, Carnoustie. Is the applicant or agent present? Convener, we have the applicant present today. That's fine. Before consideration of this review, can I please defer to Mr. Paul Christensen, the planning advisor, who will provide a correction in terms of the handling report. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you convener. Um, so prior to the determination of this case, it has been brought to my attention that there is a measurement error in the handling report. The report of handling, page five of report 16720, makes reference to a distance of 450 millimetres from the end of the proposed extension to the boundary wall of the neighbouring property at 41 Mall Street. The distance to the boundary wall should in fact be 1,000 millimetres. Having checked this with the officers and development standards, the measurement error does not change the overall conclusions of the report or the unacceptable impact that we consider the proposed extension will have. Thank you very much. Um, do, do members require any further information or a site visit? Councillor Miles is raising his hand, convener. Yeah, yes, uh, convener. Uh, having looked at all the information here, uh, I feel a site visit is still almost essential for me to decide whether this is uh, going to to uh, be uh, contrary to planning or, or whether it could be deemed acceptable. Does MDL require a site visit? Convener, if Councillor Miles is requiring a site visit, I will support his view. I think okay. if a member wants a site visit, we should take one. That's what I was waiting to see. I think we should site visit and um, make sure all the, the um, councillors are aware of the situation. So we will leave it convener, to there. Sorry, convener, councillor King wishes to speak. Yes, I'm familiar with the site. I used to live in Caesar Avenue and I've done a drive by recently uh, since I got the papers. Um, but if others want to site visit, I'm happy to go along with that. That's fair. No, I think if there's two members who definitely want a site visit, we must we must site visit in all fairness for the applicant. So we'll leave it up to the officers to arrange a time and date for the site visit. Is that okay? Councillor yeah. Miles would like to speak. Yeah, just uh, wondering when the, the possibility of that will be and uh, do we have to wait until lockdown kind of totally releases or can it be done uh, in any other way? Shape or form. Also conscious convener that we have two others stacked up, I think, as I recall, both in Carnoustie, yeah. which uh, we are saying require a site visit. So we, when it's possible, we could uh, kill three birds with one stone there. That would be very advisable. Convener, could I maybe defer to um, the planning advisor just to give you some advice in terms of that? Yes, that would be good. Yes, I mean, we can either deal with obviously a site visit, which will obviously be in due course, or whether there are any, and whether you would like to need to investigate whether there are any uh, other means of uh, providing information that you would like to see rather than a site visit. Um, we could do that through either other materials that are available, 
discussions with development standards officers if they have other materials um, or con contacting the, the, the appellant. Um, that would obviously circumvent the requirement for a site visit and we could then reconvene a meeting if I have that information available uh, to present to you. I, I'm acquainted with the, the, the area and wouldn't personally need a site visit, but uh, it would be what would suit to councillors who do require a site visit. So if, if various means and ways of um, making it possible to, to, to do all, all these requirements, it would be fine. Convener, I think Councillor King perhaps wanted to speak. Councillor King? Yes, Convener. Um, I think the purpose of a site visit is to get a, a, a personal feel on the environments of the area that we're talking about. And certainly while uh, further video or other links would be useful, I still feel that if we need to have a site visit, we should in fact visit the site because you get a better impression of what uh, is going on when you actually physically visit the ground. Yes, I agree with you there. I, I would also concur with that because, uh, again, photographs only tell one part of the story. And uh, as most of the, the situation here is, is dependent on how much is overlooking neighbouring properties, I think a site visit is essential in this instance. Right, we'll get the officers to arrange a site visit and book it in with us. Okay. Convener, sorry, I think Councillor Duff wanted to come in. Sorry. Yeah, th thanks, Convener. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm like Councillor King, I, I've done a drive by. Um, I don't personally feel it's necessary, but very happy to go with the, with the members that do want a site visit. And I think, yeah, seeing it in, in reality is better than any number of drawings and pictures. And in, in my opinion, um, that's that's a personal way. I'm quite happy to go along with the, with the site visit. Right. That's good. So, Sarah, you arrange for to get this site visit booked. Yes, sorry, just just um, to clarify for members, it's similar to the other two cases that we've got on hold at, at the moment, um, that we can only arrange a site visit as and when it's safe to do so and the, and the travel restrictions have been lifted. Um, so what, what we will do is we'll combine the three site visits for Canoosti all at the same time. Um, and just for clarification for the applicant that's also in the meeting, um, I, I'll email out the decision from today to him, but unfortunately we won't be able to provide a date no. at this time, but we will obviously keep in touch with you all um, as, as you know, we, we go through um, the different phases and, and start, we start to, to maybe ease some of the restrictions. Right, that's fine. Yeah. We'll go on to the next item then. Hang on. Hang on. Will this be an unaccompanied site visit? Yes. We yes. always have unaccompanied site visits. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, Convener, can we just clarify with all members that they wish an unaccompanied site visit? Yes. 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 Unaccompanied. yes, happy with that. Yeah. That's grand. Right. Next item. Uh, field adjacent to the the Lodge, Collison, Castle, Arbroath. Um, this is an application for the review of the decision taken by the Planning Authority in respect of the refusal of the planning permission for the proposed new manager's house at the field adjacent to the Lodge, Collison, Castle, Arbroath. Is the applicant or agent present? We have um, both the applicant and the agent present today. That's good, thank you. Before consideration of the review, can I refer members to section four of the report and the recommendation three as asked members to confirm whether the statutory requirements have been met in terms of the new information submitted. If we agree that the terms have been met, we can review the information as part of the consideration of the review. If not, we must not take those new matters into account. Um, have the councillors looked into section four? 
Yes, can read, and I've seen, seen the, the new material and I've no problem accepting it, but I don't know quite what you're, you're uh, asking there. If you could clarify. It's this um, information could only be relevant after the coronavirus come into and uh, it was not there when, when the initial uh, planning went in and got refused. So now that they've had the corona, they're feeling that there's um, they should they should be taken into consideration with hardships. Convener, well, I've I've read the information and and you know I, I I've seen the additional information. Um, I've read it. Um, I don't think it's probably appropriate to say what whether I think it's relevant to the case or not, but I've read it. Um, well, that's what we have to to take into consider to decide on whether you think it's a, re a relevant fact that will influence the the decision or not. Well, it's a factor. Whether it will influence the decision or not remains to be seen, but it is a factor, and it's unforeseen circumstances. The COVID nobody could foresee that. So uh, it, I think it's acceptable to uh, accept the new information. Anybody else got any opinions on it? No objections to accepting the information. No, no objection to it. Right. Can I, can I just clarify, convener, sorry, that, that mem from what I'm hearing, members are, are satisfied um, that the requirements in terms of um, new information ha have been met as detailed in section four of that report? Yes. Yes. Yes, from me as well. Okay, thank you. Do do members require any further information or a site visit? I'd I would like a site visit, please, convener. So, I, I think we would benefit from a site visit to get the the feel of of uh, where the the site how how it fits into the property and how it fits into the surrounding areas. I think it would be helpful. I've done a drive-by on this one and I would prefer a site visit just to get the full picture of what's going on. Councillor Duff? Um, yeah, I'm happy to go along with the site visit. Right. Again, Sarah, will you arrange for a site visit for this? Unaccompanied, of course. Unaccompanied. Except for the distance. <laughs> So again, just convener, just for clarification for for the agent and and the applicant, um, yeah. we will arrange these as soon as we can. Um, and I think what I'm hearing from all members is is another unaccompanied site visit. Yes, that yes. would be. That's it. Well, as we cannot do any more until we do the site visits, that will be the end of the meeting. Thank you.